78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community in this case. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. So, uh, watch the segment of Undisputed today over on Fox Sports 1. And uh, Undisputed, of course, with Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. Now, this Kyrie Irving controversy, I won't go over the whole controversy because I'm sure if you're watching the video, you probably know what happened. But Shannon Sharp initially had a take <clears throat> that was uh, meant to appease guys that look like Skip Bayless and the people that employ Shannon Sharp. And his, his initial take was he's very critical of Kyrie Irving, and he was in support of a Kyrie Irving suspension or some type of Kyrie Irving discipline uh, by the uh, Brooklyn Nets or the, the NBA or whoever else decided they was going to discipline Kyrie Irving. Um, but that take was met with backlash from the black community online who stuck together. Surprisingly, black folks decided to stick together for once and uh, was very critical of Shannon Sharp, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, Jalen Rose, Stephen A. Smith, Michael Wilbon, and others who were very vocal against Kyrie Irving. Now, when the, the Brooklyn Nets owner put out a list of demands that Kyrie Irving had to abide by in order to be considered back uh, uh on the team. He was suspended five games at least. And then there was a list of six items that he had to abide by in order to be reconsidered uh, for a job working with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, most black people saw that list and uh, were offended by the list because we understand what this list is. Okay. It's uh, you wanted Kyrie Irving to apologize. He, he's done that. You want to discipline him? You want to suspend him five games? Fine, you've done that. But now you're telling the man he has to uh, basically apologize and mean it, right? How he can do that, I have no idea, right? He has to uh, bend over and take it, get on his knees and cry and crawl, beg, go to sensitivity training, you know, meet with religious leaders, so on and so forth. As black people, we understand what this is. This is an, an attempt to buck break Kyrie Irving. Uh, during slavery in this country, um, we all understand that uh, the, the, a slave, a male slave in particular, uh, was taken out. The biggest, strongest, or the, or the one who got in line was taken out in front of the entire plantation. And everyone was made to watch this slave get broken get disciplined. Uh, he wanted to buck up against the system, but we're going to beat him. We're going to whip him, and y'all going to watch him submit. Y'all going to watch him beg for his life. You're going to watch him beg for mercy so that y'all understand he ain't nothing. You understand? And since then, uh, in this country, buck breaking has uh, remained, but it hasn't been physical beatings. Now it's more uh, st strategic with political things and uh, uh, dealing with your money and, you know, uh, canceling you and, uh, um, you know, putting sanctions on you, basically, right? Until you get some act right, this is how, this is how we're going to treat you. So Shannon Sharp and many others came to the realization what was happening to Kyrie Irving after uh, black folks got on them uh, for what they were doing. And they felt shamed, as they should, and they came out trying to defend Kyrie Irving uh, now, saying that they're not for this list of demands. They think the list go too far. They think uh, Shannon was saying today that he thinks Kyrie Irving should be able to play uh, basketball again. Um, the list of demands are just too much. And what sparked this whole conversation was LeBron James, another guy who, had, who initially spoke up and spoke out against Kyrie Irving. Okay, and then 
when LeBron started meeting backlash, LeBron came out and tried to clarify saying that um, he don't agree with the demands. Right? So this is what got undisputed talking about this. So Shannon said his piece. That was his take for the, for the most part. Skip Bayless, on the other hand, Shannon Sharp's partner in crime, who sits across from him and debates him every day. Skip Bayless is just, you can see it in his face. He's uncomfortable. He don't like it at all. He don't like it. And he takes issue with Shannon Sharp having the audacity to defend Kyrie Irving. You understand? And uh, Skip, let it be known, he had issue with it, right? Skip tells, uh, uh, he, he responded to the NBA commissioner who, who came out, the NBA commissioner who happens to be Jewish, he came out and said that he doesn't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic at all. He says that he's never heard, he's known Kyrie Irving for 10 years, and he's never heard Kyrie say anything uh, like that towards anybody or anything hurtful. So the commissioner is basically in support of Kyrie Irving coming back to play basketball. Skip took issue with that. Skip attacked the commissioner, saying that, uh, well, how can you, basically, how can you vouch for Kyrie Irving? Oh, you're, you're Jewish. Why would he uh, say anything like this in front of you? So Skip is basically insulting the intelligence of this uh, NBA commissioner as if Skip is all-knowing. Skip knows better than the, the man who is Jewish who's telling you somebody's not anti-Semitic. Skip knows best, see? Because this is this is his blood. This is who he is, right? And many of y'all get fooled by guys like Skip Bayless because every once in a while he'll say something you agree with, and he's entertaining to watch his takes, his crazy takes and stuff like that. But Skip has a rooted, is deep-rooted, okay? There's no difference between Skip Bayless and a lot of these other people that make it obvious how they feel about black folks. Skip Bayless is jealous, has been jealous of these black athletes his entire life. See, Skip Bayless wanted to be an athlete one time back in high school, you know, and coach wouldn't give him no play, wouldn't give him no run because he was not very good. So Skip Bayless uh, grew up wanting to be around sports. You know, he had no athletic ability to speak of, but he wanted to be around sports. He just needed that in his life. So he hung around and became a sports writer, reporter, all that kind of good stuff. And he, he's very critical of these black athletes, judging them as if he could do even a quarter of what they can do. He dragged Allen Iverson's name through the mud, okay, for years. He dragged LeBron James' name through the mud for years and still is doing that, all right? Uh, he's currently dragging Russell Westbrook's name through the mud, uh, making up all these nicknames for him. And uh, he did the same thing to Chris Bosh, started calling Chris Bosh, Bosh Spice. He called him uh, Westbrook, West Brick. Now he called him West Bench. You know what I'm saying? This this stuff makes Skip feel good because he's a bully by nature. It's in his nature to be what he is. He's a bully by nature. He feels that he's right. You're wrong. You see? One episode, he even told Shannon, this was years ago, um, he accused Shannon Sharp of being afraid or, or being jealous of Tom Brady. All right? Now, Shannon Sharp is a Hall of Famer, Super Bowl winner, and you accuse this man of being jealous of Tom Brady because Tom Brady had more longevity than Shannon or, or other guys did. All right? Shannon fires back by accusing Skip of trying to uh, be friends with these athletes in order to get interviews and in order to get these athletes to like him. Skip took issue with that, and Skip immediately gets offended and plays the victim like they always do. Here is this guy who sit on TV all day calling people out of their name, bullying Terrell Owens and others, bullying LeBron James, bullying Westbrook. As soon as somebody says anything to him that he don't like, he's offended. Oh, no, you crossed the line. You crossed the line. I'm not going to take that. No. No, you that, that crosses the line. Well, okay, the line is crossed. Now, what you going to do about it, Skip? Nothing. You see what I'm saying? This man sit on TV. And, on, when he worked for ESPN, he sat on TV and, 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 and criticized Chris Bosh and LeBron James all day long, okay? And 
they had a segment where Jalen Rose and others were trying to tell him it's not cool to name call these athletes and give them these nicknames and trying to feminize them and emasculate them, calling them Bosch Spice and all this stuff. That's not cool. Skip would hear nothing of it. He didn't care that black people were offended by him doing that kind of stuff because it hit a little different when it's coming from uh, uh, one of them. So Skip didn't care. He continued to berate these young these young uh, uh, athletes. And then when Jalen Rose points out to Skip, hey, I know all about your high school basketball career. It was non-existent. You were trash. Skip Bayless gets offended. He wants an apology. You see what I'm saying? Do you see where I'm going with this, how this man mind works? This is a supremacist mentality. He has a supremacist mentality. He can't help it. This is who he is. You see? So now he sits down with Shannon today and he's angry. You can tell he you can tell his body language, his posture. He's definitely angry that Shannon has the audacity to defend Kyrie Irving when it comes to uh this this uh you know him playing basketball. Skip says, No, I don't think the suspension went too far. I think it needs to be double digit numbers. I think it needs to be double digit, at least 10 games he should be out. Then he starts talking about how he has a Jewish friends at the, his golf club. He's part of some elite golf club where, where a lot of Jewish people there. Some they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Okay. And when Shannon is ta- telling him the plight of black people, Skip's not interested because, you know, Skip quick to tell you about how he was raised. Uh, he had a black mammy in his house and stuff like that who raised him. And one time, you know, uh, Sister Odell, whatever her name was, Mama Bell, you know, Mama Bell took him to the black church and he was so amazed and, oh, good old Mama Bell. And I cried when Mammy died. And, man, get out of here. This is the whole notion is racist, but he don't understand this. He don't get it. He don't get it. Nobody's going to correct Skip. You see, and Shannon ain't going to correct him because Shannon's happy to have his job. He's happy to Skip Bayless, um, you know, Gave him an opportunity to come on and debate with him and stuff like that. So Shannon feels indebted to Skip Bayless. And, and Shannon's just not going to call it out. He's just not going to. And I'm not going to ask him to because I know he's not. You understand? But what if you, anybody watches that segment, you'll see. I'm not going to play it because, you know, YouTube allows some people to play this type of these audio. And then, you know, they can play video and everything. I can't play none of that stuff without them messing with me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, so I got to regurgitate, uh, re, you know, recap everything that they said here. But regardless of the fact, this is who Skip Bayless is. Um, he, 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 he always tries to find him a black athlete to make a villain. Uh, he hates Giannis when everybody loved Giannis, but Skip hate Giannis. You know, uh, he always looking for some reason to, to, to belittle Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just who he is. Skip doesn't like uh, dudes being too prideful. He try to cover up his disdain for black athletes by overly acting like he's overly excited about guys like Michael Jordan. But it's really not about Michael Jordan. It's really not. Um, He really don't got no love for Michael Jordan. But in reality, what he's using Michael Jordan as as, as a measuring stick where he can put Michael Jordan up on this pedestal where nobody else can obtain or get anywhere close to that. But that's his perfect excuse to not look like what he is while bashing anybody who does anything great. Um, It's just a clever tactic by white supremacists. But anyway, uh, that's my opinion on the matter. Um, Now let me know what y'all thought of the segment. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty. LDBC, smash that like button, hit the subscribe. I'm up out of here though. Deuces.